Hey guys, in this video we'll discuss the electronics that I bought for my G0704 CNC conversion. Links and information about each component is in video number two of my CNC conversion series. I won't be putting links to these components in the description of this video. Go check out video number two. In the center of the screen you can see my C11 breakout board and to the left of that is the is the Kelling KL600 48 volt black power supply. This is cosmetically different from their white power supply that's also 48 volts, uh, but that one was out of stock and functionally they're the same, so I went with the black. Below that you can see a gray uh, Dell computer power supply, that will be important. And then at the top of the screen you can see that that power supply is uh, powering two fans that also came from the same Dell computer. There's two Kelling KL5056D drivers powering my 570 ounce motors and one Kelling KL8070D driver powering my 906 ounce motor. You can see all three motors spinning at 60 inches per minute and then 300 inches per minute. This is just for fun because you'll actually need to do your motor tuning once you have the mill assembled. As for the breakout board itself, uh, the first thing we'll discuss is the 5 volts going to these two pins over here on the right. This is supplied by the controller computer, the one that's running your software, via USB cable that's supplied with the board. On the left side of the board, you'll need to supply 5 and 12 volt uh, volts and you can see the yellow wire that's the 12 volt uh, pin set those need to come from a separate power supply which is why I have this gray Dell computer power supply and they're run through the same Molex plug that's not a problem what I'm pointing to now is called the charge pump this is a safety feature that some controller programs take advantage of like Mach 3 if you're not using this feature you need to disable it on the board and the instructions about the board will tell you how to do that and right here you're seeing me point to two pins that power up the board you can jumper them uh, to start but eventually you should have some kind of switch. These three gray wires send signal to the drivers and this is 18 gauge four conductor shielded and shielded wire is recommended. Um, and then uh, in my case I have a black, white, a red, and a green. The black and white are the pole and dir negative and they get twisted together and take a single pin on the breakout board. The red and green are the pole and dir positive and they get their own pin on the breakout board. Uh, over here on the right you can see the parallel cable and that's the last thing that you'll need to plug into the board. Of course it goes to your controller computer. You can see on the driver itself that the poles and durs each get their own pin. And like I said the negatives are for black and white. Over here on the left we've got 48 volt power and ground. This comes from the big black power supply. And I want to say that that's 16 gauge wire. The A's and B's get wired up per the schematic or diagram for your stepper motor, so you'll need to consult your motor's instructions on how to wire those. You can see in my application it goes blue, red, green, and then black from B negative to A positive. If you have eight wires, uh, shoot for vi uh, bipolar parallel to get the most torque, and you'll need to double up some of those wires um, Actually, all the wires will need to be paired on the driver. So you can see I've got uh, black, white are together, brown, orange, uh, red, green are together, and blue, yellow are together. Again, it may be different depending on what stepper you buy. The switches in between all these wires, uh, those need to be set per your application. And you can partially see the table right at the top of the driver uh, or on the face of the driver. And you'll consult that table to figure out how, to, you know, how those switches should be set. The computer on the right is my controller computer that will be running Linux CNC and eventually Mach 3. And then this one on the left is an old Dell uh, clamshell style case that I've had for years and that's why I'm using it and the power supply and fans. You can see I went with Molex connectors. I had to buy a crimper and figure all that out on my own. Uh, I'm not really going to discuss it in this video. But one wrap of black tape is for the X, two wraps on the Y, three wraps on the Z, and there's the switch that I um, used to replace that orange jumper that you saw in the last shot. Um, I really only turn the power off when I'm powering up or powering down the whole system. That way uh, I don't get any kind of weird erratic behavior going on to the board itself. You can see the USB cable at the top. That goes over to the controller computer. Parallel cable, 48 volt black power supply cable, and the Dell gray power supply cable, which is not plugged in, goes at the very bottom. Everything is mounted with 22 gauge galvanized sheet metal. I just bent up some brackets uh, by hand actually, and then use pop rivets to mount everything inside the case. If you have a nice fancy enclosure, it'll probably be a little bit easier, but this is the way I did it because I had the case and it was the cheapest, easiest solution at the time. 
it kind of looks like a jumbled mess, but if you pause the video, there's really not a lot going on. All the wires on the bottom, those are actually just powering the power side of the board, the 5 and 12 volts, and the two fans. Uh, everything else is the gray wires that go between the drivers and the breakout board, and then the white wires that go out the front of the case so I can easily unplug the motors from the X, Y, and Z. Uh, that was important for me in case I ever have to move things around, and um, that's all kind of temporary right now. Eventually, I plan on getting a nicer enclosure and doing a little bit better job. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I wanted to discuss in this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. More videos are on the way. Thanks for watching, guys.